Knock, knock. Who's there? John. John who? Beats the hell out of me. I ain't heard from your ass in over a week. Ever since you got this damn dog, you're MIA, son. I haven't been MIA. I've just been cleaning up a lot of pee off the floor. Hopefully it's not yours for once. No, I am potty trained. <laughs> Everyone, my name is John Edwards, and with me, as always, is Zeke Baker, and together we make the Dad's Drink of Bourbon. Wherever you are, whatever time it is, thank you for making us a part of your day. I've missed you. The last time I saw you, we went to dinner together, and I just want to say a huge thank you to the folks at Brown Foreman for letting us go to that Woodford Reserve Baccarat dinner. Don't get into it, Zeke. I just want to say thank you because... I think we're going to get another sample of it, and we could talk more about it at that point. I was just thankful I I learned it was supposed to be Baccarat, not Baccarat. Isn't Baccarat a card game? I assumed it was just kind of one of those overlapping things. You you know, it just kind of happens at times. Or are they both pronounced Baccarat? I don't know. I'm I'm not the person to be asked that, John. Clearly, uh, by now, you, you should know me and enunciation of words or pronunciation, whatever. It just doesn't work out at times. It's like when you're going to have one Pringle and you have the whole can. Well, once you pop, you can't stop. Exactly. But I am pretty sure that both of them are Baccarat. I just was testing you. There's words I can say you don't know about. We're not going to go down that road right now, but we can play that game one day. All of the words would start with like phenol or DEXA or whatever other medicines you say Uh, every day. That's barely scratching the surface. Are you like the guy in The Little Rascals? What is his name? Nuh-uh or uh uh-huh. And then eventually he goes like, actually, I have a very extensive vocabulary. (laughs) I wouldn't say it's extensive. I just had to learn shit to get by. Although that is funny. You're circling back to uh, The Little Rascals after I dropped out the annexation of Puerto Rico last week. (laughs) (laughs) No, the annexation of Puerto Rico is Little Giants. It's little something shit. Yeah, it's Little Giants. That's the one that has uh, Ed O'Neill and Rick Moranis, and they have the little peewee football teams go off against each other, and you have Becky the Icebox taking on her cousin. Hey, look, we know movies get muddled for me at times. Clearly, that wasn't one I watched too many times. Now, Little Rascals is great. They had the clubhouse. You know, they can't read. So Alfalfa writes the the girl Darla a love note, and he tells the other Little Rascals that it's a hate note, but because they can't read, then they lose the note. And then they're like, actually, Darla, I remember the note. And it's like, dear Darla, I hate your guts. How do you remember this much of a... I'm so baffled right now. I love to baffle you. I, I know. You're, you're savantness. It, it, it never peaks. The rest of the note is, you're the scum between my toes. Ooh, that's actually a bad cut. Yeah, it's really bad. Ooh, I'm going to think about that now for a while. Jesus. Well, I'm going to tell everybody about the sponsors. Today's show is sponsored by CastCartel.com, changing the industry standard as to how you get your alcohol. They are the premium spirits marketplace. By now, you know the drill. It is a convenience play. You don't have to wait in line. You don't have to do a raffle. You don't have to camp out overnight. So some of the allocated stuff might cost a little bit more. Good news, though, your daily drinkers will be on par with what you pay at the store. And also right now, there is free shipping if you use code code free ship two that is code free ship two you will also get a 375 of rebel 100 they'll throw it right in with your order as long as you buy more than one thing and use code free ship two you will get free shipping and a 375 of rebel 100 also follow them on instagram at cast cartel zeke it's the holiday season what kind of gifts do you like to give people at the around the holidays i don't know you ever think of laser edge glassware I can't say I've ever bought that, Edwards. Well, you could go to Premium Bar Products. You could get your buddy Kaysen his own custom glass. You could write whatever you want on it. There's a whole bunch of stuff you could do at Premium Bar Products. You can also get the official Dad's Drinking Bourbon Glen Karen. If you use code DADS10, 
you'll get 10% off your order, but only the custom stuff. The dad's drinking bourbon glass is not included with that code, but they have bar tools. They have all sorts of different glasses. Check them out at premiumbarproducts.com. It is a great gift to give those people you care about. Customize a glass for them. Make their drinking experience that much better. If you are a store or a distillery or a bourbon group and you have more of a wholesale order, reach out to me. I'll get you in touch with the good folks over at premiumbarproducts.com. Zeke, you excited to drink and have a show? It's been a, a minute. I, I'm excited you're not talking finally, but uh, and also it, you're fairly excited to see you. Like I say, uh, it's been a, well over a week. Normally, I at least got to get a phone call or a text here and there. Nothing the whole weekend. I was like, all right, well, you know, I got to work, um, but keep me posted. We'll get some stuff done. You're out of town for a weekend, then I'm gone for a weekend. I don't want to get too far behind. And then nothing. I mean, I, I felt like that girl waiting by the phone. Can you turn your phone off, please? Now, what my phone is my MacBook, and I don't know how to turn sound off on that and it not like do the rest. So, is it going to ding the whole time while we're recording? Look, we know I'm not the most technically savvy person. And by the time I found where to turn that off, we could both be asleep. Let's get to it. I'm sorry. I thought we had a very good phone conversation today. Today, day nine. It wasn't day nine. I saw you well, six days ago. That didn't count though. There was people around. We didn't get to like, you know, bond and actually talk and bullshit and you, you know. And then I talked to you Thursday. I was distracted. And then I talked to you Friday. No, I worked. Yeah, I talked to you real quick. We texted. No, oh, maybe. <laughs> no, you're not spinning this on me. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm like, all right, well, I'll sit here with uh, some samples and see if old John Boy decides he wants to lay something down. And nope. Phone works both ways. We ended the conversation with, I'll let you know when I'm ready to record. All right. All right. Well, we're recording tonight. <laughs> and tonight we are drinking Wheel Horse Bourbon from Latitude Beverage. It is 101 proof, 50.5% ABV. It's at least two years old. It's pretty much two to four years old in 53 gallon barrels with number four char from Owensboro Distilling Company, which is formerly OZ Tyler. It's non-chill filtered, 70% corn, 21% rye, and 9% malted barley. It comes in at a price of thirty-one ninety-nine. Hold on, sorry, I, I legit like spaced out for a second. So OZ Tyler got bought out, or they changed their name, or what? Changed their name. It's kind of like that zoo in Tiger King, where they were the GW Zoo, and then they changed their name to the Greater Winnie something Zoo, and so it's OZ Tyler is now Owensboro Distilling Company. Interesting. Okay, but in like still the same. Uh guts people running it all that kind of shebang yes but nothing about this has any of their terror pure aging or things like that this is just straight two to four year whiskey what was the proof again 101 really yes sir huh that's interesting do you have thoughts on this one i do at least two maybe nose wise to me this was i mean really sweet and syrupy it's not overly pronounced but once you get kind of down in there to it uh, that, that's definitely what I picked up. Almost, you know, like waffle pancake kind of syrup thing. Definitely almost like, you know, like McDonald's syrup is like sweeter, I think, than like most uh, natural syrups. Oh, you know they pump about? a whole bunch of sugar in that. Like it, it's, it's a different kind of like corn sweet. You know what I mean, though? Yeah. Uh, it, it really reminded me of that. Towards the back of the nose, I um, there's definitely some hints of kind of the malted barley in there. It's kind of in there and commingled with the rye, but you get it almost, it, it, it kind of reminds me of that smell of some of the stuff that's in the smaller barrels. I know in the past we've talked about it at least a, you know, a handful of times by now, probably. Stuff that's in smaller barrels just seems to have a similar unique nose for some reason. The back end of the nose on this one kind of went there for me. What'd you get on the taste? I thought it was kind of cognac-y up front. It kind of almost in that sense of where the nose had like a syrup aspect to it, but it wasn't, it wasn't like farm grade or like our natural organic whatever syrup. It was really just like corn, like punch full of sugar kind of shit. And that was the biggest thing I got from the front end. Right in the middle of the palate, there was a light singe, nothing hard or off-putting, but 
it, it definitely, I guess, is the rye or whatever coming through. Or, well, you said it's 101 proof, so maybe it's just that. But definitely a singe, but it, it sits on the tongue like, like a, a tackiness. It's not like a – doesn't raise up. It's not a, a bite or a hug. Uh, it, it's almost like a an abrasive form. Yeah, I mean, it could be the age. It could be the proof. It could be a whole bunch of different stuff that gets you there. Well, what about you there, uh, Huckleberry? Actually, I think you're more of a, a violet tonight, not a Huckleberry. No, it's blue. This one changed for me, especially on the nose, the more the air got to it. The first whiff I got of it, there was a huge amount of corn that hit me right away. Not cooked corn or popcorn, but just corn past that i got some cherry and vanilla once this thing got air it just turned into like straight cake frosting just sweet cake frosting and i think that's kind of the thing that you were getting about the syrup from mcdonald's where it's just so sweet and a lot of similarities between cake frosting the smell of it and mcdonald's syrup taste I said I was not expecting that taste based off the nose, but that was also the initial nose where I said that. The corn doesn't really follow this from nose to taste. It's sweet bread with almost what feels like a wine or cognac finish and then a fair amount of oak. And I find that funny because you and I both kind of got that. I'm like, man, is there some wine in here somewhere? But there's not. And then a fair amount of oak lingers on the finish for me. By oak. You mean actual like a, a wood and aged type profile or just the bitter from the char of the oak? Just the bitter from the char of the oak. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I mean, I don't, I don't get wood or anything to show, uh, you, you know, depth and, and aging, but definitely there is some, some bitter that comes in after that, like mid palate singe for me. Where it's know. just dry wood. Like that's more of what it's not oak as, as an aged oak, but it's like, yeah, it was in some wood. Finishing up the notes at thirty one ninety nine. Why not go ahead and buy it? I mean, it's exactly what I would expect. I think I've seen this at some places for twenty seven ninety nine. Their website says thirty one ninety nine. It's exactly what I would expect for a drinker like this. I like that it's a hundred and one proof instead of other ones in this category might be down at you know ninety four ninety two. At thirty one ninety nine, I'm not going to tell you go to a bar because you go to a bar, the pour is going to be a third of the bottle. Thirty one ninety nine, go for it, buy it, enjoy it. It's not going to be your George C. Stag, and that's not what it's supposed to be, you know? You want to throw this with a Coke, go ahead. You want to throw this in a cocktail, go ahead. You want to have it neat, you want to have it with a, a big old ball of ice, go ahead and do it. I've been very impressed with Wheel Horse and Latitude with the rye that we got from them, as well as this bourbon. I think they have a lot of promise, and I can't wait to see what else they do. I really put it in the category of like a solid well. I mean, I, as, as sweet as that comes across up front and on the nose, being the holiday season coming up, as you mentioned, people come over, they all ask, well, oh, you're a bourbon guy. Well, what's your favorite cocktail? Well, when you're a bourbon guy, you don't drink the damn cocktails too much. But inevitably, that's what folks want. So, I mean, I can see this like barrel-aged old fashions, and I think it would be very applicable across a lot of that kind of format. And it, like you said, 30 bucks, 101 proof. It's got enough where you don't have to keep making people cocktails all night. Two of, two of them ought to have more than they want to be. That's less work on the host. That, that, that's what I would want to do. I'm a fan of this. Go out and get it, especially for the price. The world needs more affordable, versatile whiskeys. Hats off to you. You may have said it. Is this some kind of random, like, unique corn or GMO or something? I no. mean, it, it, it's a different kind of sweet. I don't know. You no. know what I mean? Nope. Okay. Thank you to Latitude Beverage for sending this our way. By no means does the fact that they sent us this whiskey have anything to do with how we rate it or review it. You can find us on Facebook at Dad's Drinking Bourbon, Twitter at Bourbon Dads, Instagram at Dad's Drinking Bourbon. You can find us wherever you download your podcast. Chances are you already have because you're listening to us right now. Please leave us an open and honest review just like we leave open and honest reviews about the whiskey we drink. That stuff actually helps us and helps people find us zeke where else can the folks find us well i hear you're going to be traversing through georgia before too long and uh lord willing the creek don't rise uh my big ass is going to be on some powder out in colorado in about a week i might be picking up a second puppy cheers <laughs> and then picking up a lot of shit ciao